Well, that is uh, the most important question. I think the uh, occupation of Mosul has gone on for two years, and uh, that was uh, too long. But there were two problems uh, in why this lasted uh, that long. One was technical and the other political. On the technical question, there was a question uh, as to the capabilities of the Iraqi military. And in the past two years, this problem has been resolved in that the official, uh, the official uh, Iraqi army is now uh, ready and uh, well-trained and well-equipped. So on the technical question, we're okay now, and that's why uh, the Mosul operation has started. On the political question, there were, of course, problems uh, between the Baghdad government, uh, between the uh, Kurdish uh, forces, as well as with Turkey and the Turkish forces uh, inside uh, Iraq. Those problems have not been fully resolved yet, but I think the uh, main challenge after the liberation of Mosul will be to resolve those political differences. Well, uh, I'm not sure. There has been American mediation between the three parties, and that mediation has led to at least the cooperation on the military level right now. I think the long-term questions are not resolved yet. The uh, status of Mosul uh, and indeed the whole question of the uh, Kurdish uh, region in its entirety has not yet been resolved with Baghdad. Uh, I think you need to come at some point to a written agreement between uh, Baghdad and uh, Erbil. The problem with Turkey can be resolved in that Turkey is a foreign power and does not belong in Iraq unless by invitation. That can be resolved uh, with American mediation. But the problem between Baghdad and Erbil is something that the Iraqi people will, and the Kurdish people will have to resolve together. Uh, I'm optimistic that a solution can be found. But at this point, it, there is no official agreement yet. Uh, I'm, I'm certain that Daesh will be defeated and that Mosul will be liberated. And uh, they will be liberated because of the joint efforts of the Kurdish and the Iraqi uh, forces. Um, my understanding is there will be a kind of a um, truce, a kind of an agreement uh, that the Iraqi forces will take the lead uh, in providing security post-liberation uh, and that they will bring back the population, indeed, of Mosul with local forces uh, to police the, the city after liberation. Uh, I don't expect that there will be any uh, violent conflict between the Peshmerga and the Iraqi army. Uh, I think that, will, that there will be some tension, but I think they will be resolved. The main challenge will be a long-term agreement. Well, there is a strong hope that there uh, will not be any uh, military clashes. I think the, uh, the US understands that American and European forces will continue to play only a minimal role uh, after the liberation of Mosul. They will continue to be there as advisors and trainers, but they will not take on direct responsibility for uh, ruling any part of Iraq. So uh, the uh, American mediation and American diplomacy will have to be put in high gear uh, after uh, the military operations are over. Uh, and help, I think, the, uh, <clears throat> at least as far as the city of Mosul is concerned, the uh, American hope is that it will remain a united city, uh, a united city with various ethnic groups, Kurdish and Arab, Sunni and Shia, uh, that the city will uh, be governed jointly um, on a democratic uh, basis, 
and that it will continue to be a part of Iraq uh, without separating any part of it, but that there will be an agreement between uh, Erbil and Baghdad as to exactly how this will happen. The details will have to be worked out uh, by the people on the ground. But I think the civilians of Mosul will want to continue living together as uh, one uh, people. Uh, then, uh, yes, there are differences between the two main candidates uh, in the United States. I think uh, with Hillary Clinton, whom I have long expected uh, will be the winner of the election, there will be a lot of continuity. She believes in the policies of President Obama, uh, that is of assisting the Iraqis and the Kurds and of working with them diplomatically to avoid uh, any unnecessary tensions between them. So I think Hillary is the best option for continuity and for moderation. Uh, if Donald Trump wins, which I don't expect will happen, he is very unpredictable. Uh, and he doesn't have much knowledge of the situation in Iraq, which is very complicated nor do any of uh, the people around him have uh, uh, any deep knowledge of the issues. So for your interests and ours, I uh, hope he doesn't make it. OK. Most welcome.